Well, hello, and thank you for joining me for another Alex on Tech and ITY TV interview. I'm here at the Asus ROG ROG pop-up stand, and I'm here with Jessie, who's also known as Geek GG, a prominent Australian female content creator and gamer. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Great to have you here. So tell us a bit about yourself and when you got into gaming. Uh, I mean, getting into gaming, I've been gaming my whole life, to be honest. But in terms of sort of streaming, uh, I've been doing this for eight years. So I stream on Twitch and I also do a bit of hosting and presenting in the industry. So uh, you're now working with ROG, you're obviously a big fan. What do you love about the brand and the tech? I actually love that they encompass so many parts of, I guess, the gaming space. Um, they do laptops and PCs, obviously. They've got all the peripherals. I actually just recently bought a ROG uh, case for one of the M2 drives that I can carry around externally and actually use that like a little USB key. So all of their products so far that I've actually had a go of are brilliant. Now we're seeing some of the 2023 range of new machines here today. Uh, what has impressed you about these new models? Uh, actually, so far from the ones that I've been playing on, the screen to like body ratio on the laptops is brilliant. And for someone who games on pretty much all of my computers and laptops, uh, that's actually pretty important. Yeah, absolutely. So um, how do ROG features help you to be a better gamer and a better content creator? Uh, obviously, the screen size is one of the things that I mentioned, and that's that's brilliant for me. Uh, also, what's inside them as well, especially with the laptops that I'm using today, because I obviously need to game on them, but sometimes I need to be able to stream on them at the same time. So they can kind of handle both, which is perfect. If a fan was to say to you, what features do you recommend for a great gaming laptop, what would you tell them? Obviously, the insides definitely count. Uh, for a laptop as well, battery can kind of be a big thing because you might not always have somewhere to plug it in. But again, honestly, the, the screen size that I've seen today is brilliant because it's going to be so much smaller than your normal you know, desktop monitor. Uh, that's been a big, a big part of it for me. Now, one important question to ask you is what are your favorite games to play? I play a lot of shooters. I also play a lot of RPGs. Uh, I've been on the Destiny bandwagon recently and I had a really good go of Diablo over the weekend during the uh, beta and I'm super excited for that to come out. But I kind of play a bit of everything. Now you mentioned uh, you're on Twitch. So what are your channels? Where can people find you? Um, I am GeekGG on Twitch. Uh, and then I'm actually the Geek GG on all of my socials as well if you guys want to keep up with anything else that I'm doing outside of the gaming thing. So what else should we know about you before I ask a couple of closing questions? Uh, depending on what the closing questions are, um, I thought it might be interesting for you guys to know that I'm probably a little older than I look. Uh, one of the first games that I've kind of gotten into gaming with was something that my dad introduced me to. Uh, Monkey Island on yeah. DOS, yeah. Uh, but also like the original Doom and Wolfenstein. So I am a DOS girl at heart. Still love my point and click games, uh, but I've definitely kind of moved into the more like modern shooters and RPGs as I've gotten a bit older. So one of my questions was going to be, what was the first game you played and what was your first computer? But I guess that's a, a, a DOS computer, like a it 286 was, or something. Yeah, it was. Uh, when the internet was uh, introduced the internet, as well, right? yeah. yeah. Dad had printed like a bunch of signs on sort of whatever the old school version of Microsoft Word was going, we have the internet. So I've kind of gotten to see gaming and computers sort of evolve over time, which has actually been really exciting. Yeah, I got my first computer in 1979. <laughs> <laughs> two years before the IBM PC. And some guy in Western Australia was writing clones of Asteroids, Pac-Man, all those original arcade games. So I've also seen the incredible evolution. And kids right. today don't know what no, the it's so scarcity true. of what, you know, the graphics and all the rest. They're living in a different world now. <laughs> yeah. So my second last question is, what is some of the best advice that you've received in life to help you get where you are today? Um, to kind of chase my dreams and not give up on them, I guess. The other one was to fake it till you make it, which is actually something that I have taken to heart. And I think it is one of those things where I'm so comfortable with what I do now. And I feel like this is my place, but I know early on it was sort of something that was kind of hard to transition into. The streaming thing, the hosting thing, being a woman in this industry as well can be quite hard. Um, but I love what I do and I'm really glad that I kind of stuck with it and I didn't give up. Um, it's the best job. Well, no doubt you're a lot of ins you're an inspiration to a lot of people out there, <laughs> and you and you must have a huge number of fans. 
Yeah. I, I mean, I love my community. It's yeah. one of the best things that I do is getting to not only stream and share my passion with everybody, but getting to interact with my community on a daily basis. Um, yeah, I wouldn't change my job for the world. So what is your final message to ITY viewers and readers and to all of your fans watching? Um, I don't know if you guys have checked out these computers, by the way. I get to spend another few hours with them. They're brilliant. Um, also, I really appreciate everybody. Um, you guys make my job the most amazing thing to wake up to and do every day. So thank you guys for supporting me. Well, Jesse, Geek GG, prominent Australian female gamer and content creator, thank you much. Thank you very much for taking the time. Thank I you. I wish for you the me. best of success and I hope we can talk again in the future. Thank you. Okay, bye bye.